Tonight, two men are dead after a gas leak on Fort Myers Beach off Palermo Circle. According to Fort Myers Beach fire officials, we know what happened at around 9.30 p.m. Saturday night. Now, crews responded to a home for a reported gas leak or gas odor. Lincoln News reporter Camila Pereira tells us what one man saw as he and his friend stayed in a nearby vacation home. A boy's trip down to sunny southwest Florida took a turn for New Yorker Thomas Sullivan and his friends. On their last night out, they saw lights and heard sirens flood the neighborhood they were staying at around 10 p.m. Saturday. We were just going to wrap up for nine to sit, and uh, all of a sudden the whole the whole street was lit up with cops and fire trucks. And uh, but we didn't see a fire or smell anything, and um, it didn't look like anybody was like struggling with anything. And then uh, uh, one of the neighbors a little while later told us that there was a there was like a gas leak and some casualties and. Uh, uh, so it was a pretty sad situation. This is what the home looked like Sunday morning. Items still left behind from the scene. The Fort Myers Beach Fire District confirmed they found two people inside unresponsive and were later pronounced dead. Authorities responded to the home for a reported gas leak or gas odor, which remains under investigation. It's a scene that's stuck with Sullivan. It's kind of like shocking because we kind of went from like, you know, joking around a little bit of like, oh, there's something going on. And, you know, you don't think the worst, but then when you hear, like, the worst, it kind of just gut punches you a little bit. Camila Pereira, Wink News. And tonight, the Lee County Sheriff's Office is looking into the cause of death, as well as the gas company of the home, Tico. Now, to understand what happened, we'll make sure to keep you updated as soon as we learn any more information. Most people have a carbon monoxide alarm in their home because you can't smell it. But what should you do if you smell gas in your home? Well, Tico has some tips. The most important thing they say, don't delay, get away. Get everyone from the area or out of the building immediately. Report the situation to 911 or they have a hotline. And if you suspect gas, avoid open flames. Do not smoke, obviously. Don't do anything that might cause a spark, including turning on any electrical devices or battery-operated devices, radios, anything like that. So basically, just get away from the scene as soon as you can. Be sure to report it. And obviously, don't return to the building until people's gas safety experts have given the all-clear for you to return.